What's up, everybody? Um, thank you for joining me today. Sorry, excuse me. I have a little bit of a throat soreness. Um, is that you, Rona? No, I don't think so. So anyway, um, I am here today because I sent my best friend Jack um, a starter kit from PAA. And um, I was watching Douglas's how to use it, and it's not as specific as I would do a video. So uh, I'm kind of do a blend of the videos that I've already done, which one was how to use Art of Shaving Kit, and the other one was how to use your first soap when you first do it. So this one's going to be a little different. It's going to be a blend of the two because in the soap um, video, I was using a badger brush and um, the green ray is a quite specific, uh, I think it's three different fibers, synthetic, and it really doesn't have very much backbone. And I've given mine away um, to one of my buddies, uh, one of my best friends also, Ben. Uh, I let him have that because it was a starter. I was getting him started too. So I do have a brush that's very similar, and it's this um, from Paul, it's from DS Cosmetics, but it's the Paul Films um, brush that he has, and it's pretty similar, and it doesn't have much backbone at all, and uh, even though the fibers are the same, I'm sorry, the fibers are not uh, brown or whatever, this is a very similar brush, and um, that's why I'm going to use it. And today I am going to use the CK6 Formula Doppelganger. It's the same brand that you got. Formulated CK6 right there. This is um, obviously a duplication of Creed Aventus. Uh, which e everybody seems to love it. This is my favorite one. And that's why I'm using this one. And I have the Aftershave Splash that also comes in the kit. So... Uh, I'm going to show you step by step. Uh, also, I'm going to be using a three-piece um, safety razor. This is the uh, King C Gillette, which you can find at your local Walgreens. Uh, they should have at least one displayed because uh, mine had a display case. My Walgreens, I mean. And it had just the one razor there. And I'm hearing from everybody that there was only one razor when they went. There was one safety razor. And you can buy the packs of blades and stuff, but um, one safety razor usually displayed at a time. I don't know how many each store has, but that seems to be the trend. So uh, I'm going to show you how to use this kit, how I would how I would use it, and how I think you should use it. So um, I know I sent you the video of Douglas and how, him showing you how to do it, but he blooms the soap, and I do not recommend blooming the soap. I don't like to bloom soaps, and. Um, I've never bloomed this soap, and that's why it looks pretty good, like it's still got poured. And it's actually fairly uh, new. I've only used it a few times. All right, man, so let's get started. Let's get this going. I'm going to show you exactly how to use this kit. All right, bro, so we're going to quickly go over how... This is, this is not the same razor you're going to get, right? But it's very similar, okay? And I am off to the side here. Like, you can see this is the front of the sink. The faucet's over here, okay, so I'm standing in front of the sink here, and uh, I'll just show you how to load your blade, even though Doug does go over how to load it in that video. These are Voscod blades that I believe are sent in your kit. Now, this is a hundred pack, and they're only, they're very cheap, bro, very, very cheap. Um, I send them out when I'm sending them people kits because I really like this blade. But honestly, blades are pretty personal and um, might not be the blade for you, but it is a very good blade and a lot of people like this blade. So, obviously, I'm going to have to open this package and I just cut my nails, so perfect timing. Let me move this a little bit. Okay, so we're going to open our blade and get to... Um, loading up this razor so there we go okay obviously just open it up you'll see that they are wrapped up in the five pack get one of them out put the rest of them away obviously 
Okay, now I save the paper, and I'll tell you why I save it, because I'll just show you. Okay, so here we go. This is my razor. It's very similar to the one you're going to get. It's not the same one, but it's similar, and it works the same way. So obviously, you're going to just twist counterclockwise, take the handle off while you're holding the top cap. Sorry, while you're holding the top cap, uh, put the handle down. Now, I, what I do is I just grab the, I'll keep my hands on the razor. Shoot, it's a really terrible angle. Okay, so, okay. So, uh, I usually just keep my fingers, see the little tabs of the razor right here? So, I'll just hold on to that and then let the bottom plate fall off. There you go, there's the bottom base plate and just take note of the gutter here and it's very flat on the bottom piece so it'll go back this way so just put that down and then um, let me see if uh, is this not in the shot okay put that down then drop the razors keeping a hold of the of the top plate or the top piece here okay so now, there you are. This is actually a super expensive razor, but I don't know that it's very special at all. Okay. Um, so you just kind of put that down. Pull out your new razor. It's double wrapped for your protection. Try not to touch the bladed area because it's easy to mess up your blade if you touch it. Obviously you're not retarded, so there you go. There's the blade on top there. Of course, this goes on top. And what I like to do is kind of squeeze them together. And then while I'm squeezing them together, I'll just Twist the handle back on, and not over tight, but just snug, and there you go, loaded it. And because of this uh, safety bar right here, because of this, uh, you can just put it down on the table, should be fine. Alright, so like I mentioned earlier, I do save the paper, and that's because when I'm ready to throw away this razor, I will take the old razor, and put it in the paper that I just that I need, needed right there for the the new one, the new razor blade, and then I'll wrap it all up, right? So it's nice and neat, and then I'll fold it in half, right? Fold it in half until it snaps. There we go. Now I can throw it away, and it's safe. It's not going to hurt anybody, right? And and I have like a little jar that I throw it in. Just so that, uh, and you can just throw it in your trash can, like make sure it goes to the bottom, I think. Anyway, that's how I usually do it. And that's why I will save the little paper. You can put these away. And that's that. Alright, brother. So, first thing is first. Um, kind of get your kit, like you don't have to get the whole box out and all that, but I recommend just getting your stuff out on the sink after shave um, your after shave your, your your after shave your soap just put it right here so you know where it's at get your razor bada bing your brush boom and right before you get just just go ahead and jump in the shower um, I don't know if you shower at night or if you shower you know before you go to work um, it doesn't matter either way uh, just I usually do it after the shower because after the shower uh, you're your face is like nice and warm. It's got that nice little, you know, uh, prepared. You kind of like prepare it. So, you know, that's, that's the way I usually do it. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn on my hot water. And um, so, you know, you just got out of the shower. So your beard's pretty well prepped. But you're still going to have to do some stuff here. Which is just like kind of wet your face, right? So uh, we've already loaded the razor. Um, I mean, you could you you could store this without the razor in it. That's probably the best way to do it. 
just kind of keep your razor and kind of keep count how many times you used it. Um, I use mine twice, like a Voskhod, I can use three times. That's a little, like, it'll give me three good shaves. But, um, two to three, dude. And your beard is pretty damn coarse, so I don't know what how many shaves you're going to get out of it. So, anyways, let's wait for my water to get hot. So, it's pretty hot now. So, what I, would, what I do is, before I even wet my face, I will load this brush full of soap. So, I run a little hot water to get these bristles warm. I don't bloom the soap. Uh, Douglas tells you to put some water on there, softens the soap and all this and that. I don't like to do that. I feel like it might ruin the soap. Um, even though he made the soap and I guess it's designed for that, but whatever. I don't like to do it. So what I'll do is I will let the water run on the bristles only. You know, obviously don't throw the whole brush in there. I just let the water kind of run over the bristles. There we go, and you can see the brush is soaked. So I will kind of squeeze out the at the base of it and leave the tips with a little bit of moisture. And then I will take my tub of soap and I'll just swirl the brush around the soap until it starts to build like a little lather. You can already see it getting creamy. Get, I mean, this is white, so you can't really see the, but you can see it's getting creamy in there little bit more water kind of just go around this thing smash it in there if you have to I mean you don't have to so kind of just roll that around and you know some people do 30 seconds some people do 20 I mean 45 seconds and some people count how many swirls just like I said in previous videos um, I just kind of go you can do 50 swirls that seems to work perfect for a lot of people and uh, this, this stuff, like, really lathers up nice. Um, so, I'm just going to swirl it around. And, eh, okay, I feel like that's enough soap, okay? So, there you go. So, what I do is um, take this soap. So, now my brush is loaded, right? And i got to wet my face. So, I'll wet my face, a little bit of hot water, just right where I'm going to where I'm going to shave. And then I'll scoop this out from the sides and just kind of rub it in. Kind of that's why I kind of have my water still running and stuff. Just kind of like a pre-shave. Doesn't really matter if you do this or not. But if you the I mean I rinsed this off so that the soap looks really nice when I'm when I'm done, so it doesn't look like it'll get all ugly looking. So here we go, rubbed it in, kind of like putting a little, just not wasting it, ooh dang that's hot, okay so now I'm just going to wash this off, and I'll just let the water, whatever, just wash off all the extra lather parts, and then you know, kind of flick it. The soap shouldn't come out of there. So just kind of get the soap out. And there you go. That's how the soap is going to look. And then leave this open to dry. I leave it open and let it dry for about a day. The, the next day, uh, um, when I'm going to grab another soap, I'll just um, let that, you know, go or whatever. So now, brush is loaded. Face is wet and prepped. Now I'm just going to start applying the, the soap to the parts of my face that I'm going to shave. So, with you, I think you shave your whole face. I'm not, I don't remember if you have a mustache or not. I think you do. But, it's going to go on real pasty. See it? It's pasty. It doesn't feel like you would want to even shave with this pasty crap. But, you just got to add water and work it with the brush, bro. That's basically what's going to happen here. What I'm doing is I'm just running water just over the tips of the brush as it's coming out of the faucet. And then, you know, here you're just going to kind of smash it, scrub in circles, paint, scrub back and forth. All that stuff builds a lather. And just keep adding water until you like what you get. So, show you to the point where I, where I stop. Because obviously, it's a little pasty, bro, like at first. 
This still feels pasty. And I'll tell you when I stop. Just getting a little hot water. Just nice is this is where the scent really comes out and it just smells nice. Okay, now we're starting to get a little creamy, a little creamy consistency here. Starting to feel nice. You will feel the ease of the brush. I'm sorry if I'm a little off kilter. You'll feel the ease of the brush gliding around on your skin. At first it's pasty, the brush has kind of a hard time gliding across the face with your stubble and everything. Just kind of paint it, paint it, a little bit of water, scrub it. This stuff lathers so nice, it really gets a great lather on it. So right here we're looking pretty good. I, I usually will take whatever, see this kind of build up all around here, and I'll just like roll that little build up on my face, and then touch it. See how it kind of curls up like a little, like a little ice cream cone? That's good. That right there is, is hydrated enough. Um, the soap is hydrated enough. I have added enough water, and there's enough cushion for the blade, and enough glide for the blade. So you're gonna get a nice comfortable shave right here. And now you gotta understand, this is only one blade. So now what I'm gonna do is just put this on the sink right here. Just like that, it's gonna sit there and wait. And you can go ahead and turn the uh, water off. What I do actually, dude, is I fill up my sink with hot water. So usually I do that in the beginning, I'll just fill it up with hot water. Uh, some people don't, some people just run the water to wash the stuff off the razor, but I don't. I like to just keep a little tub of water. But for this sake of the speed of the video, I'm just gonna go ahead and continue. A um, lot less noise with this sink than my other sink. So uh, I'm just happily shaving in my new uh, area now. So there you go, dude. Short, short little strokes. And see now we got a bunch of build up on the razor so you can flip it around and keep going but what I do is so that I know that one side of the razor is used the same as the other side is I'll use this side of the razor for this side of my face and if I turn it to use this side I do exactly what I've done here on this side so short little strokes okay this is filled up enough There we go. Now my razor's all gummed up. I'm gonna just dip it in the water and shake it back and forth, being careful not to hit this within the side of the sink. So, there we go. Now it's all off. And I'll continue. Very smooth here. Just be careful, man. Obviously, don't move the razor left to right. Um, if you're in a rush, just kind of just be careful because this razor will cut you, not like the the cartridge razors. This one will somewhat cut you. So the first pass, I usually just go down. You'll see it's gummed up again. There we go, wipe it off, it's good to go. And now, what I like to do is get my, like kind of shape my little goatee, so. There we go, and then the mustache. Okay, so now you've done one pass 
you could just be done right here if you if that's what you want to do and you're in a hurry or you can um, rinse this off I usually rinse it off with hot water but at my little bowl of hot water here wow this is blazing hot I'm put a little, little cold water in there that's blazing hot okay get a little warmer okay there we go love my new faucet guys just none of that screeching to open the water it just opens the water all right so this is what I do bro you don't have to continue if you don't want you can just do the one pass and just see how you like it especially if you're in a hurry um, but this is how I do it kind of keep my face wet while it's still wet and hydrated I re-lather again and this time instead of shaving down I just shave up the scent again smelling fantastic filling up the bathroom with great scent now you don't need to build it up as much because you don't need as much protection you've already gone and got the first layer done And you don't need as much. See, like this could be good, but I feel resistance here. In the way the brush is going back and forth, like I could feel it not as slick as I would like it. So I'm just going to dip, obviously. I dip the tips in water and continue. And I can just go like this. This is fine right here. This is plenty of slickness because that's what I'm looking for, slickness. Not so much cushion now because I've already done my first pass where I would like the cushion to be because that's where all the cuttings getting done now this is just to make it very nice and smooth smooth for your lady you know when you get close with your lady and she feels that nice smooth skin on your face and she's like what is this this isn't the jack I know and love but I almost love him a little bit more <laughs> all right so this is fine but you could go crazy with it if you wanted to scrub it up dip a little water just kind of mess with it you know on your day off see how you like see how you like your second lather I like to just why why you know why not bring the full potential of the soap out get it as nice and slick as as it can be so this is good right here bam you don't have to spend this much time doing this shit either so here we go now I'm gonna shave up this is probably against your grain but obviously Douglas talks about you know going and doing a second and third pass well this is pass number two for me and um, this is how I do it going up and this is not really against my grain and that's why I do a third pass but you don't have to your grain might you might your hair might grow down and if it does then you don't have to do this uh, third or, or third pass this is it this is against your grain I know it sounds excessive but your end result you will see why Also, I want you to keep in mind that that plastic that you use on cartridge razors, it never biodegrades. This is much better for the environment, which I know is a great selling point for summer and you and the way you guys' lifestyle is. Um, the, obviously, it's paper, wax paper that biodegrades and obviously the metal razors eventually also will turn to rust and dust and biodegrade so this is much better for the environment you never have to buy another one of these if you don't want to I have several I have this one that I just bought um, I have this one that I won in a raffle that actually this cost 250 bucks I won it so you know I'm still alive my wife didn't kill me but this thing costs 250 bucks. 
It shaves a little different, has a different angle and everything like that. Different feel. Uh, this was my first safety razor right here. My 34C made in Germany. Great razor. And it was like 34 bucks. So you don't have to spend a ton on this stuff either. Um, so for me, I do one more. Just real quick against my grain. And that's because my hair grows from this ear down to this ear. Like, a, like it grows from here to here. And I can't stand it. So now I go against it. Now I'm going against your grain. And you don't have to spend much time here. This is literally fine. So that's going to be the last thing I do. But I do against my grain. So since my hair grows from this ear oh, all the way down like this and to this ear, I shave from this ear to my chin. You can hear the cuts. See that there? Now it's shaved off. You can't hear anything. But when it's like, I'll go right here and you'll hear the feedback of the razor. That's because I'm just going across my grain. There we go. Now continue going the same way. Another thing to keep in mind here is the reason I started shaving like this is because I would get irritated so badly with the Gillette, you know, five blade razors. And the reason is because, um, you know, this may seem excessive that I'm doing, you know, three swipes of my face. But in essence, this is what's happening. When you use those little gel, gel protective layers, right? Um, for your Gillette Okay, so now I'm done Right, I'll explain I'll keep explaining right now. Um, I'm done though. My, my face is still wet I didn't use the towel to dry my face a lot of people do a lot of people just you know Dry their whole face off like this. You can do that too But what I do is I like to let it air dry and uh, while I clean off my brush I just clean off my brush here, so I don't not wasting a bunch of water uh, that's why I don't like to let the water run. I just use this little bowl right here, kind of dip it in the water, use my hand to kind of work that, to work the brush and get the lather all out of it. And then obviously I will squeeze it out. And since this is a synthetic brush, you don't have to have a hanger for it to be upside down like a badger. So if you were to have like this, a badger brush made with the badger hair, very soft, very nice. But this, you know, obviously a badger had to get shaved for this to happen. And this is a man-made fiber. Uh, no animals are harmed in this process, even though this is made of like a plastic. At least it's minimum, you know. It's minimum. I'm not constantly buying this thing and throwing it in a landfill like you are doing with your cartridge razors. And that never breaks down, so it'll forever be here. So here you go. This you can pass down to your kids. You can pass this down to your son. Your son will use the same brush you used. That's how long this will last. You can also cut the fiber out, put a new fiber hair in, and then you got another brand new brush your, your kids' kids can use. So I just kind of run this on the towel, bam, right there on the sink to use again next time. Um, for the razor, obviously just wash it off. You can. I mean, what I do, like, see, since there's, like, residue, obviously there's soap residue and scum. So, while my face is air drying, I'll take this apart. Okay. Remove, carefully remove my razor blade out of there. Put it to the side. And then I will take uh, this used up toothbrush, put a little soap on it, and then I'll just scrub this stuff up. You don't have to do any, you can do this. Whenever you feel like it's too scummy, or you can just throw it there and it'll be soap scummy and who, no big deal, whatever. This is stainless. It's supposed to be stainless steel anyways. I believe yours is. 
um, or it might be chrome plated either way uh, I just don't like it to look ugly <laughs> while it's sitting on my sink I like it to look nice and um, it'll be nice and shiny and obviously it can actually get rusty if you don't clean it and it might peel that chrome off so I like to just while while you know while my face is drying up and it's obviously I'm explaining everything so this 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 is a lot faster when I'm doing it and I'm no one's watching me obviously it seems like a long process but there we go now it's beautiful again throw my razor back in you could wash you could wash your razor off if you want but I don't I just throw it back in and close this back up right on let's drive that back up again I like to squeeze it there we go goes back on and now my radar my razor looks beautiful posted up right here on my little holder that I have for it looks beautiful it's shiny again looks like I just want to use it again bam okay so now that everything's all cleaned up got my soap drying out for a day I usually put it in the closet um, we're here to let's just drain drain it obviously drain your sink I like to wash all the little hairs off as it's draining down just kind of splash water on it get all the little hairs you'll see all the little hairs okay and uh, no stranger I don't think you're a stranger to using aftershave so yeah we're gonna splash some aftershave on now with this bottle it just like I don't know if how the sample bottle is but this bottle just has a tiny a little hole in it now supposedly there is a built-in stopper and this is how all the bottles used to be but they're not anymore for whatever reason so you would plug this hole turn this upside down and this should not leak there you go now just kind of shake it a little bit till your heart's content obviously apply like Douglas said I don't put it all over my hair and my forehead because you know if I work out or start working on the car or start working on the yard and I sweat this stuff will get in my eyes and that sucks and there you go brother you are done um, just showing you simply how the synthetic work the synthetic brush is it's a little different than a badger brush I prefer badger brushes because I like the way they feel um, but you you actually ended up with a synthetic and you can decide whether or not you want to do anything else with it or you just want to use this kit till it's done and throw everything away and not ever worry about this happening again or just use it a couple times. I mean, I implore you to, to use it at least until you feel like you've had a good experience, like you know what it is and hey, decide whether you do or don't like it. So it's up to you, man. I am now done with this video. This is the way I do it. I don't bloom the soap and I do my three passes because now even if I rub my hand against the grain it's just smooth man this is smooth like like I guarantee you probably never had a shave this smooth before um, I know I have never had a shave that smooth before so that's it man hope you enjoy your kit I'm gonna load this up and try to get this thing to you before you get out of work so um, also yeah so let me get back to explaining why Okay, so I forgot I went halfway on that thought. So before I go, I want to explain to you guys why this is better for your skin. Now, when you use those other foams, even if you use a foam out of the can Barbasol, your razor blade usually has five razors like mine used to. And actually, I still have it here. You can see here, this thing has five razor blades. Okay? And a skin some soothing thing and I used to push these to the absolute limit like they would have to destroy my face for me to throw one away because they're so expensive but anyways what happens here is whatever foam you use the first little gel pad there takes that foam right off 
Now your skin is barely has any protection on it. Then a razor blade, your first razor blade swipes your skin with the one pass, one razor blade, one pass. Right behind that with absolutely no protection, another blade comes and gives it another pass and another blade and another blade to the point where it's just tearing skin. Just taking off the hair and if it pulls your hair, it's tugging the hair and then swiping and you got four blades coming right behind it with no slickness, no protection. Now with this blade, there's only the one blade. You, you use that one blade with the protection that's on your face. This guard only takes off, a, even if you were to just have the guard and go down, it, that's why it's got these gutters in there. These, because that allows the, the cream to, to continue to be on the skin and protect you while the one razor blade comes and cuts the hair. Now, say, I, okay, well, I, that's only one pass. This, you, you just did five passes with this one swipe. You just went through and swiped and swiped and swiped and swiped and swiped. That's why I was getting so much irritation with these type of razors, with these, you know, five blades, and this is why I hated to shave. Now, when you want to do your second pass, you protect yourself again. You hydrate your skin, you protect it, you go against or across it, across your grain, you have that protection because of the gutters here. And some of these come with open comb that are fantastic for um, if you take a couple days to do your shave, they're better for that. Um, but that's the reason that you, you get such a good shave with no irritation. The only downside is they're dangerous. They're more dangerous. I, um, I have no idea why these little blades won't cut you, but I just don't understand. You know, they just don't cut as easily. They won't cut your face as easily. This, you got to just have, you got to find the angle that the razor cuts and, you know, you'll find it because you're not dumb. But that's the reason that I switched over to wet shaving and now I just love it. So enjoy your stuff, man. That's the end of the video now for sure. Um, we miss you guys and we love you guys and we hope everybody's safe over there. And I saw that your dad just joined Facebook. So, uh, Mike, if you ever watch the video... I love you, man. I I miss you, and I love you, bro. And I hope I hope you're uh, watching this in good health. All right, guys. Um, I love you guys. Summer, Jonathan, Ethan, Jack. Uh, we can't wait to visit you guys uh, when this pandemic crap is all blown over, and I get my job straightened out and everything. You guys have a good night. Be safe, and we love you guys. And we miss you guys.